Hi, folks, and thank you so much for joining me here today. I would like to talk to you about chest circles, lots and lots of chest circles. There are lots of different ways that our chest can make a circle within the Arab dance format, and I wanted to discuss them all today because if you do not have all four of these chest circles in your repertoire, you are missing out. So join me as we explore chest circles. So this first chest circle is the one that I think is the most popular and the one that I learned first and I typically teach first, and that is the vertical chest circle. When we're looking at the vertical chest circle, we are doing a circle of the chest that is parallel to the wall or parallel to the mirror. We've got two variations, clockwise and counterclockwise, and I always think of these as drawing a circle literally with my chest on the mirror. So I'm thinking up and slightly to the right, all the way up in center, down and slightly to the left, and then center in neutral. So I don't think of dropping beneath me, but ending in my neutral position. So once again, the clockwise or counterclockwise variation is going to be up and slightly to the right, center, down and slightly to the left, neutral. What you'll find with this one is I try really hard to keep the level of my chest even, so my headlights are going the same way all the time. I am not creating any angularity with this particular chest circle. If we were to do it in the counterclockwise direction, we would go up into the left, up, 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 up to the center, down and slightly to the right, and then center neutral. Left, up, right, center, clockwise, or right, up, left, center, counterclockwise for our vertical chest circle. The next most popular chest circle, in my humble opinion, and one of my favorites, is the horizontal chest circle. In this chest circle, we are looking at a circle that is parallel to the floor, that comes out and around to the front of us, back around to the other side, and then once again, the way that I like to teach and perform it, coming back to neutral as opposed to coming behind me, right? Lots of different variations available. But I'm thinking side, front, side, back, keeping this all parallel, horizontal to the floor the whole time. So one more time, that was the counterclockwise direction, right, front, left, back. I have to think about my knees being bent, my pelvis being slightly tucked, because as the chest comes forward, you don't want to lose your balance this direction. So I find my feet are nice and wide and flat on the floor. My, my feet are flat on the floor. My knees are slightly bent. My pelvis is, is tucked underneath me gently to create that balance in my lower body so I can take the chest as far forward as I would like. And then counterclockwise, left front, right center. So clockwise and counterclockwise, horizontal chest circle. The one that I like to play with the most, I think, these days has been sort of a... Um, I call it a chami because it reminds me of those, those of you who know the ami in the lower body, it reminds me of an ami, but in the chest. So I call it a chami because it kind of makes sense to me. It is neither horizontal nor vertical. It's more of a canted sort of angular chest circle. When I do this one, if I'm going counterclockwise, I'm gonna think of lifting on the right side first, but now I'm aiming to get an angle in my chest, which creates an angle in my shoulders. So I'm lifting right, then lifting left to center myself in the middle, then sort of dropping my right and keeping the left lifted and then coming back down. And sometimes in this position, I do create a bit of a tuck in the upper abdominals and come behind myself ever so slightly to accentuate this movement. So once again, this chami, I'm going up on the right, up in the center, down on the right, and then tuck into the back here, keeping my shoulders open, my chin lifted, but engaging in the upper abdominals. If I take this on the other side, same idea. I'm lifting on the left, lifting the right to come here into a regular old chest lift, dropping the left, keeping the right lifted, and then coming back down slightly inside with that upper abdominal engagement. Left, center, down left, and center, right? So I'm going here at an angle. You'll notice the shoulders are creating a lot of angularity, but it's not because they are engaging. It's because they're riding on top of the chest, which is creating this movement. So that is our third chest circle, which is the chami, as we're gonna call it. And then there's one more. This chest circle is usually combined with other things, undulations and whatnot. And this is your sagittal chest circle. So this is a chest circle that actually comes out in front of you this way, sometimes done on its own, often the start to a big body wave or another type of movement. When I think of the sagittal chest circle, I think of 
pressing out first with my chest, so doing that chest slide forward, lifting up, coming back, and now I'm sort of in a laid back position. I'm chest to the sky, and then I'm engaging in my upper abdominals to bring the chest back down. So once again, I'm kind of scooping forward with the chest, forward, lifting it up, taking it from up to back on top of me, maybe slightly behind me with that upper body lift, and back down, forward, up, back, and down. This is the way I use it most often, though you certainly could take it the other direction as well and lift up underneath you, take it forward, take it down, and take it center. That's one that I use less frequently. So to review, four different chest circles. Vertical, horizontal, chami, kind of like this, right? The other direction. And then sagittal, we'll go sagittal in this direction for today. Scooping down to up. So now I'd like to do a quick drill where we put these all together. The sagittal chest circle and the chami will be done standing straight forward in neutral position. But I'd like to play just a little bit, if I may, with the vertical chest circle and the horizontal chest circle. So let me show you what we're gonna do there. When we do the vertical chest circle, we're gonna put all our weight onto one leg. If you're standing on your right, your vertical chest circle will go to the right first. So we'll go right, up, left, down. Yeah, right up, left, down, as vertical as possible. From here, after you do two or maybe four, I'll let you know as we're in the moment, you're going to switch to your horizontal chest circle, continuing in the same direction. So we were going counterclockwise. We'll continue counterclockwise, but as we do these two counterclockwise chest circles in the horizontal direction, we will use that as an opportunity to shift our weight to the other leg. All I've done is gone from here, to here, literally just shifting my weight. But what's important to try to do is to keep your hips steady as possible and allow this weight shift to just be like a little conveyor belt from one side to the other. Because what you don't want to happen is like the lower body to let go and an equal but opposite circle to come out of the hips. Once you get over here, it's the same thing on the other side. I'm standing on my left. I'll start my vertical chest circle to the left. Left up, right down. We'll do that two, maybe four times, depending on how we're feeling. And then we'll take two or four to take it back over to the other side, right? So here it's right up, left, down, where we're standing on the right foot. And then it's right front, left, center to switch your weight. And then you'll stop in the back to go left, up, right, down twice. And then we'll switch the weight. And then when we get here to do our chami, we'll do it standing center and we'll switch directions. And then when we do our sagittal chest circle, I'll be tempted to kind of take it at angles because I think it looks really nice when there's that angularity, then you can really see what's going on in the upper body. What do you think? Four different chest circles in a four minute drill. Let's do it. Starting here with our vertical chest circle going five, six, seven, eight. It's right, up, left, down. Let's do four this time to get it warmed up. Now we'll do four horizontal to take it over to the left. Take your time. Try to keep those hips steady. All right, now reverse this. Go left, upright, down, clockwise. We'll do four as vertical as possible. Good, now let's take it four horizontal. Take it to the other side. All right, let's do twos this time. Switching, right, up, left, down. Right, up, left, down. Then right, forward, left, back. Good, now left, clockwise. Are you breathing? Don't forget to breathe. Good, let's bring the feet together, switch to our chami. So make sure you get this angularity. Let's do a couple really slow, right, center. Good, let's do one more really slow. Let's switch directions, speed it up. And slow it down. One more time. And then we're gonna go to our sagittal, here we go. Forward, up, back, and 
down, other side. Let's speed it up. All I'm doing is changing my angle. Keep the hips underneath you. Don't turn it into an undulation, just that chest circle. Let's do one counterclockwise chami. Let's do two. And then two the other way. And then we're gonna set up again for our vertical. Here we go. Two here. Vertical counterclockwise, horizontal counterclockwise. Nice, vertical clockwise. Keep breathing. And vertical or horizontal counterclockwise. Let's do that again. Here we go. Good, take it across. Take it to center stance. Chami counterclockwise. Here we go. Switch directions. Accent it if you'd like. You can make it a chami box. Switch again. And other way. Switching to the sagittal. Here we go. Forward, up, back, down. Keep those hips steady. Good, back to our chami. Switch direction. Switch it again. And switch. Switch again. so much for joining me for this lesson all about chest circles. So I want to know, were you familiar with all four of those chest circles? And if not, which ones were new to you? And which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Can you choose? It's so hard to choose. If you would like to dive deeper into these chest circles and a ton of other fantastic belly dance techniques, I'd like to invite you to join me online at sahirabellydances.teachable.com where I have hundreds of hours of full-on belly dance classes for your enjoyment. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I would love to send you more content every single week. Thank you so much for being here and happy dancing.